This is the Lenovo IdaPad 310-15i SK. The client tells me it's not turning on anymore, it's not charging for about a week now. Prior to this, there were random charges, random turning on, but other times it would not. So we're going to troubleshoot and fix this today. Let's take it out. Hey Nimtax and welcome, this is Ash from Himitech helping you improve your relationship with tech. So find a subscribe button, click on it and click on the bell icon to go from newbie to techie. Also Amazon affiliate links in the description below will help other channel at no extra cost to you. So we've said it a million times, if you have any device with power problems, you do not deal with anything except you start with a power troubleshooting, whether it's a computer, laptop, desktop, TV, mobile phone, whatever it is. Our power source in this case is the original uh, AC-DC adapter, also known as a laptop charger. Now this is proprietary from Lenovo. It is in one piece, so you can't open it to test anything inside. So the first thing you need to be doing is to test for DC voltage at this point. So get your trusty multimeter. This is the Mastec MS8268, Amazon link below. And you're gonna turn it to the DC tab, which is the second from the left on this model. And you're going to also want to get yourself a pin in this case. Uh, this is a pro tip. If you have a laptop charger with a very small pinhole like this one, you're gonna have problem getting your probe inside to measure for DC voltage, okay? So what you want to do is get yourself something metallic, which is conductive, like a pin or a nail. I'm gonna use a nail and you just place it inside. In that way, we just touch the inside with a positive and the outside with a negative and you can read DC. So please be careful with this. It's not a lot of voltage, but I don't want you to have any problems. If you're in doubt, please consult a professional, otherwise do at your own risk. So we're gonna plug this in to the power source. Now the actual model of this have faded out, so I can't really read them, but I managed to kind of gather it's supposed to have an output of about 20 volt. So we're gonna make sure we try to get a DC of 20 volts. So plug this into your power source. You get your multimeter. The outside is gonna be your negative with a black and inside we're gonna just touch the nail and we're getting 20.38, which is okay, it's not bad. It seems to be fine, 20.3839, okay. So it looks like the charger should be working, okay? The problem is if I insert the original uh, charger into the laptop, I am not getting any charge on the battery. As you can see, this icon here is not charging, okay? And one more thing I've noticed, it's an auditory assessment. I can hear a little tick, 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 tick happening when I place my ear close to this charger, which is interesting because sometimes with troubleshooting, you need to use more than one sense, not just your visual, but also audio. It can tell you a lot about a device, especially with things like uh, hard disk drives and the kind of clicks they do. Now, before you make a conclusion that possibly there's an issue with the DC cable that goes from the port here onto the motherboard or even something on the motherboard, you should get yourself another working charger, known working charger. And I stress on the known working part because do not assume just because it's a brand new charger that it should automatically work. Yes, it should, but it's not always the case. In my case, I'm gonna use this universal power seed AC adapter. It comes with various tips. I've done a review on the channel. It's quite handy. So this will auto-regulate the wattage. It has a slightly less watt on this tip. It's only about 19 volt. But it's okay, it should work as long as it's under the prescribed voltage, not over, because you might risk damage the laptop further. Now, I know this charger to be working. I've just tested it with a different laptop and I've calibrated with also testing afterwards. When we plug in the other universal charger, which is known working, okay, I'm just gonna put that in there. And immediately you can see, let me see, zoom this if I can anymore. And that's actually charging. And I know this for a fact because before this tutorial, I actually used the universal adapter to charge this laptop. So what's happening here? Now we are getting DC voltage on the original charger, but that is not sufficient to conclude that the laptop charger is working correctly because you haven't tested for amp. 
and unfortunately most of you at home will not have a circuit or a amp meter to test for that it's quite complicated the best thing to do in your case if you're just a simple person at home trying to test your laptop you should start with a laptop charger now you can only get yourself another one which is compatible and try to test and again it should be known working one not just anyone but you might say to me well hang on we how do we know it's definitely uh, going to be an amp problem on the original charger the problem is you don't you can't and that's the issue if you don't have enough equipment you have to do what you can which means the only other easiest option is to get a non working adapter or charger to test with before you want to open the laptop and do further tests that's all idea in the previous video which we did which was also another Lenovo one and we had an issue and I explained it you can watch the video up there there were potential problems with the charger again but we could not get the right charger we could not finish the test and uh, that goes to show just because you've got DC voltage does not mean you have the right amp. Never assume, always test. And uh, if you can, get yourself a borrowed you know, charger from a friend to test. But don't make conclusions just because you think the laptop charger has DC voltage. It is not always conclusive. Now, obviously, if you don't have a universal laptop charger, get yourself another replacement. I would suggest maybe not spend too much money trying to get the original one. That's really up to you. Those propriety designs are usually a problem and cost a lot of money. I've worked with compatible ones before on eBay on Amazon and they work just fine but that's really up to you and the last question is should you get one of those universal laptop chargers really and truly in my honest opinion if you have one or more laptops and you think you're gonna use laptops for quite a while or as your main driver I would highly recommend it it's really handy of any tech you could potentially be owning and spending money on at home there are two things which I would recommend one is a multimeter which will help you to troubleshoot so many problems and save money. And the other one, if you have a laptop, definitely a universal laptop charger comes in handy, especially with multiple tips that fit a lot of different models. Incidentally, I also replaced the screen of this laptop a couple of years ago. The video is on the channel. It's one of the easiest laptop screens, if not the easiest one I've ever done in my life. Go check it out. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped you. If you want to find out more and improve your relationship with tech, check out these other videos on your screen right now. And don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell icon to go from newbie to techie. This was Ash from Heal My Tech, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.